Yeah, fuck it, it's his sound again. Hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. That's better. I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's OK. It's OK. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate. Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, uh, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. What? Huh? I, what? I don't, I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you? They... they don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's More why like I need your help, Abby. Things. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? <laughs> the quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. Ooh, what if... Ooh, what if they ooh. find out what I'm doing? What... What will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because, because Why are you mom, working the in family, law? they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Oh, what? Come on, Abby. Ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. See? Wasn't that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would... they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mom kills me. That wasn't meant to be a joke. I know. You can do this. <laughs> I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know I believe in you. Right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, 
I am betting my life on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening. And I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby. Find the poison, find the proof. Find the killer. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad oh, shit, the business, wrong button. and they would get my share <laughs> only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. Yeah, I want to. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first. No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed. Hi, babe. You okay? Yeah. Uh, fine, thanks, babe. So, did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah, I went to that. Oh, my God. Hey, hi, Felix. I'm doing all right, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus for, like, a solid five minutes. Good. Honestly, if this Good. quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's going to actually have a meltdown. Like, she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like... Calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. Do you remember if you did a, a round at the last quiz? <laughs> no, babe, I cannot remember the last time I did a round. All I remember from last year <laughs> is mum's meltdown about the food round. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine getting that worked up about the origin of balsamic vinegar? Well, you should do one, you'd be so good. Really? But, like, what would my subject be? Well, music. Like about my music? <gasps> yeah. I could like quiz everyone on my lyrics. Well, yeah, that sounds really great. But maybe it would be a bit difficult for like Nan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I could just do like a general quiz about me. That's fair, right? Or general questions about pop music? Oh my God, this is gonna be so awesome. <gasps> See how well you guys all know me? You follow me on Insta. If you love my content as much as you say you do, this should be easy. <gasps> okay, see you back in there, babe. Bye. <laughs> how was that? I don't know how much I'm tolerate of that. You got her talking. You got this, Abby. Go find some answers. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you, you want... want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sure... <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. 
Okay, ready? Let's see, move out. It's June. One, Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as sick, but what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how we go. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh, songs from a strangulated cat. Ballad of a teenage narcissist, ho. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called Vibin' It. Mm. What does that even mean? Sounds like a massage chair. Or a sex toy. Explain what it means to Auntie June. Uh, well, a, a vibe is like a sort of a feeling. Don't patronise me. Sorry. I, I thought Just that... ask the question. She's such a fucking bitch. My first track is called That and It. <laughs> Not a single wrong answer there. Clearly a lot of fans on the floor tonight. <laughs> Your sister, Abigail, is an asshole. <laughs> Who does she get it from? Question two. Capsley loved my track so much. He had me guessed on his latest song. What's it called? That's something foreign, isn't it? Asian. The word's Asian. Huh? Just put that down before we run out of time. Asian. That's good enough. I, I'm pretty sure it's arigato. Well, what the hell is that? Thank you in Japanese. That's Asian. I said Asian. Japan's Asian, isn't it? Right, the answer is Arigato. Christ. Yeah! Uh, just give me a minute. I need to think of question three. What has she heard when at the meeting? Just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What? What happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I knocked one of my candles which landed on Marcus and straight away his jumper just woof, up in flames. Now quality clothing does not burn like that so it just goes to show doesn't matter how much money that man makes he will never not be a cheap skate tight ass. Anyway Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames so he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which did put out the fire, which was kind of a shame. But Marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony. So Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nan got involved and started bandaging his hand. And then Bradley came in with some painkillers and the fun was sort of over really then, which was, Sort of sad, but you know, if it had been just me, I'd have left him to it. But he did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. It's all really rather wonderful. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so <laughs> this is the no. bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. I mean, why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is Yeah, pathetic. eyebrows. I do honestly think she'll say her eyebrows. The answer is... Obviously, my eyebrows. Good God, God, it's like I knew, knew the answer. I was really surprised well. when my fans said that. You know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. What a sweet, succulent hell is she talking about? <sighs> okay, so question four How many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh, Christ, that waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So, should give him a tiny bit of credit. Remember? But 
You're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but it's been years now. I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this or not? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. With a simple bit of maths... 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. I'm sorry, but the answer's definitely 14. What are you doing? So, the answer is 14 times. Oh, I love it so much. Well... Boo! I'd say well done, but I think you both know that was more luck than judgement. Right, that's all the questions I've got. Someone else can go now. She's only done four questions. At least we got a few points that round. I don't know why I even do these things. I mean, I don't care about winning. Although I do quite like beating people. Still, a few more of these. And it'll be wiped from my memory like tears in the rain. What's that from? Is it from the film? Oh, Christ, it's not one of Lottie's lyrics, is it? God, I better forget that. It is better to forget. Makes life easier. Are you okay? You do know there's something wrong with your sister. Mm. What? Just in general? No, or... I'm just saying she's behaving very oddly at the museum. You know, all night checking her phone up and down to the window. I I, I don't know what she was looking for, or who. But all night, just up and down, up and down. A bit like your mother's skirt when she was a teenager. I mean, normally I wouldn't have noticed. Or, or cared. But they were my windows she was breathing all over. And it did take a very long time to clean. Is there anything else you remember about the meeting? Anything at all? No. Oh, she's in that case. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. It's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. <laughs> Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. I also have some new... Oh! oh. News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down. Three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Kept looking out the window. Oh, yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. No, look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Band our ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true. That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have. Aged. What are we doing? <laughs> I shall perform a recognisable melody 
And you must simply tell me the name of the piece, or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So, we're playing Name That Tune. Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Mm, nimini pimini, nimini pimini. <laughs> Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Uh, uh, Wait, we're awesome. Mm, Hey, babe. Hi, Lottie. You okay? Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. Don't know if I should wear Vermilion or Cerulean. I'd wear Vermilion, 100%. You would? I'll wear Cerulean. Thanks, babe. Everyone listening? <laughs> Good. <clears throat> la la la, la 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 la. La 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 la. I mean, la, la, I recognize la, it, but I, la, la, I don't know. The name. Bark, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Oh, easy. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Bark, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Now let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh. She did? <laughs> yeah. She said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. What happened at the meeting? Oh, too much, babe. Second piece. Chopin, military polonaise. Really? Did, did Mum play that at the uh, meeting too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Did you just mute me? Uh, no. Something, uh, I think it's Nobody muted just... me, babe. No, yeah, I know. No one. Um, sorry. The answer I was looking for there was Chopin and his military polonaise. Happy. I'm very surprised you knew that. You're getting some help from someone. Don't tell her I told you the answer. But, but you did know the answer. Just don't tell her I told you, OK? Mum, Lottie knew that one and <laughs> the one before, actually. Uh, Abby! Right, so you must be cheating then, because there's no way Lottie would know any of the answers to these. A few weeks ago, she told me she wanted to sample Mozart in a song. Mozart, <laughs> and she called him the blind one who played the violin. But that's it. I'm not doing my round. I'm not risking vocal damage if you're just going to cheat. I told you. But you knew the answers. It's not fair. You weren't cheating. Of course I was cheating, Abby. Oh, I've got an app on my phone that recognizes the songs. Oh. That's why I told you not to say anything. Oh, you're so dumb sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cheat, cheat, cheat. Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Ding. Abby. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or... Oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! Shut up. Uh, Marcus? <laughs> are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. Please, Abby. Please. OK. Uh, 
interesting. Alright, okay. Oh, sugar. Okay. Part one. Okay, okay. Listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. You, you ever speak to my daughter like that again oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Shh, stop. I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. Well, <laughs> Nan's asleep. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, the only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. How's it going, Mum? How do you think? Good? Bad. Very bad. This quiz has been a disaster so far. But I'm getting to the end of this round, no matter what. Well, it's just nice to do something on your birthday. Is it? Well, none of us would be here if it wasn't for you. No. No, you wouldn't. OK. Listen up, guys. We're doing what I like to call empathy scenarios. It's kind of quiz, kind of a workshop type thing. So I'm going to give you a scenario and you can score points by how well you empathise, OK? That doesn't make any sense. Show me the empathy. <laughs> OK, first scenario, picture this. Imagine that you're humble people. I know that's a pretty hard ask for some people in this family. So, you're humble people. You've lived in the same tiny fishing village your entire lives. And you're facing the twin threats of globalisation and climate change. Is that it? I think so. What's the question? Remember, guys, we're looking for empathy here. Points for empathy. Oh, how am I supposed to just conjure up empathy? I have no idea. Is it a charades type thing? Are we supposed to act it out? Yes, Mum, that, that must be it. You're, you're a genius. Well, if he wants a performance, I'll give him a performance. But if I humiliate myself and Toby still makes me lose this bloody quiz... Empathy. Nodding. Nodding. Is, is that empathy? I think so. <laughs> Sorry, Toby, this is just supposed to be a bit of fun for Mum's quiz. Do we really need to think about this admittedly very important and very sad stuff now? See, it's that kind of attitude that makes doing this round so important, yeah? Now, imagine this. A mystery illness starts sweeping through your little fishing village. Ooh, Actually, I've got some uh, resources that might help you engage with the subject, OK? Um, let me just uh, share them with you. Uh, let me just catch up to where we were. Uh, OK, OK. This so, the symptoms of the disease are vomiting. Oh. And <laughs> diarrhoea. Oh! No. <laughs> Toby, turn that off. Right now. The people of this fishing village can't just turn it off, Auntie Felicity. Toby, turn that off right fucking now. <laughs> OK, so we won't use the resources. Oh, why did I have chilli for supper? The mystery illness starts <sighs> sweeping through your village, but the nearest hospital is 200 miles away. What emotional toil does that take? Do you want to stop, Mum? No, I'm not looking at pictures of shit without getting some points. He wants a performance. I'll give him a performance. The devil is here. The devil is in our homes. He comes at night, comes to snatch us away. How will our poor Join in, baby. fish in village cope? Uh, look out for 
the devil. Oh, for God's sake, Abby. Don't just copy me. Think of your own thing. And as he comes, the children quail. They know yeah, not I'm, I'm a what fisherman to do. and I'm, I'm scared we of, scared of missing out on our quotas and uh, of fish. And I've lost my nets. Pray for our village. Auntie Felicity? Yes. That's actually really reductive, yeah? It's even pretty offensive, you know? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take five points off you. You can't deduct points. It's my round. It's my quiz. And you're not taking a single point off me, you arrogant prat. Just ask a question, Toby, an actual question. A normal, proper question. Mum, if it was your second me, trophy, I'd give you ten points. No, a million points. Get Browning. the out of my arse, Abby. You know I can't abide false praise. Uh, so let me get this straight. What you're saying is, is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> there are other people in the world beside you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no, but... Toby, let me stop you there. Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question? The kind of thing you'd get in a quiz. I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby, you've had your chance. I am You're done. doing a problem. Another disaster. Why do I even bother? I try to do something nice, something selfless for this family. I know, Mum. I know, Mum. Is that your total contribution? Christ, Abby. Oh. Let me get a word in. Wait, wait, <laughs> Mum, I, I need to tell you something. Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. I'm not interested. No, but he's... The man's a liar, Abby. I always hoped you wouldn't fall for it, and perhaps I should have done something when you were younger, but it wasn't easy for me either. After your father died, I thought, oh, if you want to turn to Uncle Marcus and not me, perhaps I should let you. Either you realise what it was like or... Mum, what are you talking about? You really don't see it, do you? He's paranoid, deceitful, always painting himself as the good guy, the victim. A few years ago, he thought a business partner was trying to kill him. He was sent all these threatening emails, anonymous emails. Wouldn't surprise me if Marcus was the one writing them. What? He went mad. He bought a gun, he bought a guard dog. It was all bullshit, completely in his head. No, I, I, don't, I don't understand. It's he... all an act. Abby, don't get sucked in. I... Kid, we need to talk. <laughs> Abby, please, please. If we had, if we more, had time, more time, I could, I explain. could explain. You said this, you said was, this real. was real. It, it is, is real. real. How can I trust you? How can I trust, trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't going to follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? <gasps> Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person 
in this family that would never fucking lie to you. I trust you. I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. Okay. So, listen, I think I managed to get some useful stuff from Mum. Are you okay? How many spiders do you see on my hand? What? Just answer the question! I, 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 I don't see any spiders. Fuck. Shit, did you see that? No, I, I, I... I'm crowing here! Ah! It's gone from my eye! I, I, I can't see anything. There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. Oh, what? Well. I better get back in there then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark, please. <laughs> What is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Good, good luck. Kid. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellarful. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Bradley, we need to talk. About what? Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had, like, eight cars since then. Bradley, you have to tell me everything that happened at the meeting. Well, nothing unusual, just like loads of arguments. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, it's just so weird. You're lying. What? What am I lying about? The answer is Abigail. Disgusting child. What are you not telling me, Bradley? I mean, you're mental, Abby. You seriously, you're crazy. I, I don't understand. You have poisons, don't you? Was it you? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the truth right fucking now. OK, let me explain. I have two poisons. Oh, my but... God, it's actually true. Yeah, but listen to me. One of them went missing. At least I think so. It's just that... It's just what? One second. Bradley. One second. Oh, my God. Okay. What right. is that? This is polonium-210. OK, it's, it's, it's one of the poisons that I lost. I wasn't where I thought I put it, but, but it was somewhere safe. Hasn't been opened, right? It's probably just misplaced the other one as well, somewhere. What, one of the poisons is still missing. Yeah, but... Who knows about the poison, Bradley? Like, how, how many people know where you kept them? I don't know. You're lying. I'm not lying. I don't know. Question two. Which birthday was Flick celebrating when she lured me into the attic and locked me in so I couldn't attend? Look, if you think they were taken, then someone must have known about them. Just tell me the fucking truth. OK, look. Toby knows where I keep my stuff, and I've shown them to Lottie before. Who else? Who else? No. Stupid. She, she wouldn't. Who? Who are you talking about, Bradley? I like to get up early for, for walks. 
sometimes. Really early, like before the sun comes up, when no one's around. But on the morning of the meeting, when I got back, I saw Nan, who was just like in my room, just like standing there. And uh, she looked really, really flustered when she saw me. But she was only in there to talk about mum's drinking. Nan. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote, now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, okay, okay. Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose. Please. I know what it is. Come on, Abby. Now's not the time to build suspense. Uh, Stallion. If you say so, kid. <sighs> Did it. my mouth uh, 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 uh. Yay. <laughs> you, you hear that you hear that <laughs> the sound of my vital sense improving he did it he did it <laughs> he saved me <laughs> shit yeah Holy shit! Okay. Now, Abby. Now, why don't you go and finish this thing? I... I can do this. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Oh. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Are you okay, love? You're gonna have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain here. Is she frozen? No, if you look closely at her throat there, you can see she's still breathing. Ah, uh, this, this is life. Shut up. What was that? Just shut up, all of you! Abby, if I were you, I'd think very... Oh, okay. So, so that bit's wrong then, because with the pollute. Fuck it. It was you, Nan, all along. Nan, we need to talk. What is it, love? I know what you did. I'm lost. You poisoned Uncle Marcus. You tried to kill him. Tried? Yeah. He's gonna survive. We... We found the antidote in time, so... You can't prove it. You really think that we'd be having this conversation if I couldn't? I know everything. Is he really going to live? Yeah. It's over, Nan. You don't understand. I didn't have a choice. I had to protect the family. That's all this has ever been about. Marcus always knew there was more to the story about his dad, my Eddie. But if I didn't act, we wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have anything. Just tell me the truth. Tell me everything, Nan. He was going to leave us, my Eddie. He was going to leave me, your Auntie June, your mother. He was going to cut us off. I heard him planning it with 
her, his other woman. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. I had to stop him. I had two little girls, Abby. They needed a home, they needed money. We, we deserved it. I hit him over the head. It was nothing but rage. I don't know if I even wanted to kill him. Maybe I did. One blow was enough. I panicked. You've got to understand, I was only thinking of your mother, of your Auntie June. So you killed their father. He was going to take everything from us. Where is Grandad? I, I weighted him down and pushed him into the lake. That bloody fishing lake he loved so much. He let us play in that lake. I told the girls and Marcus the same story, that he killed himself. We told everyone else that he'd gone missing, the fishing accident. We had to protect the family name for the past few years. Marcus has been obsessed with finding the truth for that damn autobiography he's writing. But if he found out, everything I did to protect this family would be for nothing. When your sister told me about Bradley's poisons, <laughs> I nearly laughed. It was so simple. I took them both on the morning of the meeting and waited for my chance. Your Auntie June's ever so clumsy, particularly when you give her a little shove in the back. She dropped that candle straight onto Marcus. <laughs> it went better than I'd planned. I, I was hoping for a distraction to get it into his drink, but your mum picked it up and threw it over him. I rushed to the first aid box and poured the poison onto the wound dressing. I, I don't know which poison I actually used. It was the only one I could get the lid off. You'd think in this day and age they'd make things like that easier for people with arthritis, wouldn't you? Bradley had told Lottie that the poisons were slow-acting but deadly. So, when I watched Marcus walk out of your Auntie June's house with that dressing still on his hand, I knew it was over. At least I thought I did. Seems Marcus isn't that easy to kill after all. Thanks to you. Oh my God. Don't think I don't regret everything I did. I've lived with the pain of it every day since. That's why I've kept this. So I'd never forget what I did. What I did to him. That's what you used to kill Grandad. No one ever noticed the dark stain <laughs> on the base. I loved him so much. I know Marcus will never forgive me, but it wasn't just me and the girls Eddie was leaving, it was Marcus too. Every time Eddie looked at Marcus, all he could see was Marcus's mother. He loved her more than he ever loved me, but it was Marcus who drove him away. That's, that's why he had to move and start again. I, I know Marcus will never believe me, but if I didn't do what I did, he would have nothing to. Hey, Abby. I have to go. Abby? Wait. Hey, Abby. Oh my God, are you okay? I just talked to the doctor. She said it's gonna take a long time before I feel like myself again, but I am going to live because of you. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but Nan, she just confessed to everything. She did? <laughs> Damn, I wish I had that on tape. We've got a lot of evidence, but what we need is irrefutable proof. I know what we can do. What? We need to search the lake. Dad's lake? Why? What's in there? Jesus, that's where she put him. So she really did it. 
Sorry. Yeah. Hey, listen, don't apologize, Abby. You found the truth. Now, look, I am going to send you some money. Book the first flight out of there you can. Come see me. You're not going to want to be around them for this next little bit. There's one last thing I need to do. <sighs> Just tell us what she said, Mom. I can tell you. Abby. These are the last words I'm going to say to any of you. No, oh, what makes you think we give a flying monkey's rat's Auntie off? June, let's start with you. I know that you've been through a lot in your life, and I might even feel sorry for you if you weren't such a vindictive, cruel bully. I've always wanted to say this to you. I hate you. I, I hate you. Hey, Ab, that is not cool, <laughs> okay? Toby, how nice of you to volunteer to go next. What can I say about you? Nothing, because there is nothing to you. You are a self-obsessed personality vacuum and a parasite. You follow tragedy around the globe and still somehow manage to make it about you. <laughs> like if, if I lost my entire village to a devastating earthquake, you would still be the worst thing to ever happen to me. And Bradley, I might as well complete the set. You, well, you're not actively terrible. You just really, really creep me out. Thanks. Abby, I don't know what you think. Mum, I spent my whole life trying to live up to whatever it was that you expected from me, but the truth is you never wanted anything from me. You just, you wanted to be better than me. I think just so that no matter what, you could tell yourself that I will never be good enough for you. I wish I had the courage to say this a long time ago. Fuck. You. Oh. oh my god, Abby. Oh god, am I next? <laughs> Lottie, you're messed up and really shallow. Really, really shallow. But I don't think it's entirely all your fault. So just give me some time and I'll I'll text you. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, Nan is a murderer. I'll let her fill you in on the details. Nan? Wait, what? I'm not she talking about. Um, What's going on? Don't worry, I know a good lawyer. <laughs> Do I get a speech too? Listen, just don't go getting yourself poisoned again, okay? Well, I'll take that. I like this new Abby. <laughs> yeah, me too. There you go. Alright, I better do a walkthrough for that.